Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire V5 V5 laptop. And this specific one is a V5-472P-6467. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how you can rep replace or remove your internal battery. It's really simple, really easy to do, you can do it at home and you don't have to take it to any technician shop or anything like that. And I'll try to get the link for the tools that I use and the extra, the batteries in a, my video description if you guys need to purchase one. So first thing first, if your battery is not holding up any more charge longer and it's draining really quick, you might want to replace it. Those are the first signs. And But sometimes they get inflated and again, you want to replace it. Otherwise, it's just going to blow up the palm rest right here. It's going to push the trackpad upward. All right, with all those set, let's get into it. And um, by replacing the battery, you will not uh, lose any files or anything. You just have to replace it and turn on, it will be the same. So no worries right there. And I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the CMOS battery too, if in case you need one to, to replace. All right, with all those set, the tools that you're gonna need is a simple screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. These are made out of S2 class steel. That means they will last you many years. It's a really tough and steel. You're gonna be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, you will get a few of the opening tools, tweezers, and a few other stuff, but not. But if you don't wanna get the Pro set, get the simple set, and for the opening tool, we're gonna to be using a guitar pick. Uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this on hand, let's go ahead and remove the bottom cover. You're gonna see a whole bunch of screws down here. You're gonna remove all of the screws and you're gonna keep them in one simple pile. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and start from one corner and remove all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It will be a great support to the channel, to me, to make more videos, to ans and answer your questions in the comment area, take requests from you guys. I really appreciate your support. If the screws are not coming up, you can grab a, a magnet or magnetize the tips. That's easier to pull them up. Make sure you don't forget the two screws in the middle. And um, once you remove it, double check, make sure you haven't missed any. Once you remove all the screws, what you want to do, you want to grab your opening tool. And you want to stick it between the bottom cover, the black, and the top cover, whatever color you have in here. Right in there, about one or two millimeters inward. And you want to twist it, and you want to hit a big click. And once you hit that click, that means the covers are getting loose. You want to work around every one or two centimeters. You want to just do this and pull it out. This one just came out really easy. So you want to work yourself around, go to the back corner, the left and the right side. And you want to just twist it in there. And there we have it. Usually what I do, I do the sides and the front and then I grab it from here, I work it around, I lift it up and it will release the back end. And you just want to push it towards the back side where you have the I.O. side and it will release the I.O. end. All right, down here we're gonna see the battery. There's one, two, three, four cell batteries, but they're working in a parallel, so these are two cell battery. They're just doing a series or parallel. To remove the battery, there's only one screw holding it down, so you wanna remove this tiny screw in the middle. With a flat head, it's uh, the same screw with a Phillips number one. Once you remove it, to disconnect it, simply just pull the cables or hold it from the side of the jack, white jack right there, but if you can't get your fingers there, anyways you're replacing it, just pull the cables back gently, like that. And now you can just go ahead and lift up the battery, and the battery will come out pretty easy. The model for the battery is an AP13B3K. And this one, it is rated as, let me see, where do I see it? And uh, right here, 15 volt, 3560 milliamp hour battery, and 53 watt per hour. All right, once you get the new battery, simply what you need to do is to put it down, 
Make sure the bottom end has a little clips here. It has to go right underneath. Put those in. Set it down. Make sure these uh, exposed pins on the bottom are facing the motherboard. And the red cables are facing towards the battery. You don't want to put it the other way. You don't want to put it like this. Otherwise, you're going to short the motherboard. You want to bring it like this in front of the jack. And it's straight, evenly. Push it towards inside the jack. And the last thing down inside would be to put the screw for the battery right in the middle. Once you did this, you want to grab the cover. You want to scoop down the I.O. side where the HDMI port is. Just bring it towards yourself. Put it down all the way in. Bring it towards yourself and push down the side. You should hit tiny clicks and that should be all. Now the last thing down here is to put the bottom screws. Regarding the charging the battery, once you put the new battery in, you don't want to power on right away. You want to leave it in an off state, turned off mode, and you want to connect the charger, leave it there for five to six hours with a laptop turned off. So it fully charges the battery without stressing anything. After five to six hours, you can turn it on and use it as you wish. That's very important for the uh, new batteries. All right. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do, replace your battery for your laptop Acer Aspire V5. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe to support the channel. I'm just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws.